Well, Charlie, welcome to Forest Green Rovers. Worst kept secret in the world, isn't it? It's been out there. But uh, how does it feel to have finally signed? No, it feels good. Um, obviously, delighted to get it over the over the line now. I'm looking forward to getting started. Obviously, it's a bit of a shame that I can't be involved tonight. But look forward to Saturday and hopefully get some involvement and start to get minutes now. And obviously, sort of the rumours were circulating over the weekend, weren't they? When did you find out that the move to Forest Green could happen? I think it's been like on the cards for the last couple of weeks and stuff, and obviously we're just trying to get everything sorted and get it all ironed out. And I think obviously once the news was pretty much done, obviously I was delighted to get that get that sorted. But how nice has it been sort of the last few days because you were at the game on Saturday and then training yesterday. You must have be bedding in already, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. You've got to try to obviously get to know a whole squad of lads. Uh, and so that's going to be a challenge, but no, the lads seem great already. They seem very welcoming, so I'm looking forward to it. And coming in from, from Rangers, just explain a little bit about you know your, your story since you've been there and uh, and how you sort of progressed into the first team picture. Um, well, I joined there last summer and then uh, well, got myself into the first team involvement and stuff, and I made 10 appearances for Rangers first team. And I think the, the main reason why I've come here is because I was looking for more regular first team football at a good level. I think that's what I'm going to get here hopefully so I'm looking forward to that and the new challenge and, and obviously I had a great time at Rangers while I was there so I can only appreciate that as well. I guess it shows maturity from your end doesn't it? Being at a massive club like Rangers you could stay there and, and relax I guess but you've decided to sort of take the plunge and what is it about Forest Green that, that attracted you here? Well, obviously I've spoke to a lot of people at the club and obviously they've all told me about the plans and the ambitions of the club going forward. So it's all very exciting and hopefully you can be a part of that and be involved in that. And hopefully it goes to what they have planned because if it does then it's going to be a great great involvement to be part of that. I and mean, what about your experience as well because obviously you've been at, at Manchester United. I mean being at two of the biggest clubs not just in, in the UK but in the world. Like how can that how can you use that to come here into Forest Green? Well, I think obviously I've had United and then Rangers. I think it's obviously going to set me in a in a good place. I've had a lot of experiences, a lot of learning. And hopefully I can use that now and Get, get playing and kick on now, so hopefully you can use that all to my advantage. And you mentioned the learning. Are there any particular figures that have been, you know, really big to you in your progression while you're at United and Rangers? I think when I was at Rangers, I, I would always say in all press interviews and everything I did, I think I was learning off Stephen Davis, who's a similar style of player that I'd like to base myself my game on. And he's gone and played over a thousand professional games, and he's the most capped British international so I think there's no one better you could be learning off and I was learning off him every day for 18 months and he played a big part of how I did at Rangers anyways so I think that's an ideal person to learn off and hopefully I can use everything I learned from him going forward. And what kind of player, player are you? What can Forest Green fans expect to see on the pitch? Um, I think I'm a ball player midfielder that wants to go and get on the ball and make things happen and I'm always looking for the ball, I always want the ball. Hopefully, can hurt teams when I have it, so no, it'd be, it's going to be enjoyable. And just finally, a real shame you can't be involved here tonight at Bolton, but good to be in and around it, I guess, and then yeah. raring to go against Shrewsbury on Saturday. No, yeah, definitely. I think it's a good, good experience to be involved in it to see what, see what happens for the prep and the lead up to a game, and obviously, hopefully, can be involved Saturday and start from there.